Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 7. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Today, we address our power issue. We've got this big reactor that's producing uh, 37,000 RF per tick, uh, but honestly, that's not enough. We gotta go bigger, and we could just make the reactor larger. We have the resources to do that. But I think it would be way more fun to deal with a different power generating mod. So, today we are going to dive back into POWA. A POWA, P O W A H. And there is a reactor in this uh, that is pretty cool. It ends up being uh, four high and three by three, so 36 blocks. And the way that you make it is you have to make 36 of the appropriate reactor blocks. So if you want the basic one, you would make 36 of these. If you want the highest one, you have to make 36 of these, and so on and so forth. Uh, but the nice thing is, or maybe not, maybe, it's, maybe it would be easier if it went in a different direction, uh, but one nice thing is you upgrade. You have to use the previous level of reactor blocks to make the new level. So eventually, I think I want to go with the nitro reactor, but the nitro reactor actually requires wither. Uh, you got to kill the wither. You need nether stars. And, and I did the math. In order to make 36 of these reactor blocks, I would have to fight the wither nine times, which actually wouldn't be that absurd. Like... I, I do have this cleaver, which gives me a greatly increased chance of getting wither skeleton skulls. Uh, and we could just make a wither skeleton farm, right? but right now I only have enough to fight the wither four times. So I think what we're going to do today is build the next lowest level, the spirited reactor. And then once I have enough wither uh, skeleton skulls to fight the wither nine times, I will destroy the reactor, get the blocks back, and turn them into the nitro versions, which uh, are basically the same but better. Now, the reactor itself is going to run on uraninite, which might as well be coal, which might as well be called, like, totally not uranium, because it, it's basically just uranium. Uh, but it's this stuff down here, and you smelt this into this, and that's what the reactor runs on. You also need a little bit of it for crafting, as you can see. Uh, but I've got that smelting up, and our quarry mines this stuff, so that's not an issue at all. Uh, but the annoying part is going to be the crafting. So if we pop over here, and we start looking at these recipes, remember you need to do each level of block, right? So the basic one, we're going to need 36 of each level of block, because we need to upgrade them. So we'll need to make dielectric rods, dielectric casings. Dielectric uh, stuff is not that hard to make either, it's just... Uh, dielectric paste and iron bars, and the paste is just coal, clay, and blaze powder, all of which we have quite a lot of. So, like, we've got all the resources to do this. It's just going to be a lot of grinding and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but let's start off real simple. We'll just make, uh, how many of these can I make? Basically none. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine. Fine. Let's make a stack each of these, and then we'll turn half of them into that, because that's how you make the other version. Uh, and then I guess we'll make... You know what? Let's just do this. There we go. So now we have enough of each type, I believe, right? Uh... Let's 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 hope so. <laughs> Hopefully, I did. Nope, nope, I I did not. Okay, die, and it's not showing up anymore. Oh, rough. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, so far so good. I've got a uh, basic reactor stuff made, but now it starts to get a little tricky. Now we're moving on to the hardened, and in order to make hardened capacitors, I need energized steel. So the way that you do this. I think I've shown this in a previous episode, but just in case, is you need an energizing orb, and then you need some of these energizing rods. And then you also will need the wrench from Pawa 
to configure this, you want to see those little, like, laser beams going from the rods into the orb. And then, you just... Oh, uh-oh. Come back. You just click one uh, gold and one iron into here, and that would be how you make energized steel. We're going to need quite a bit of this. Okay, now we're to the more annoying part. So, in order to get blazing, we need these blazing capacitors. Each of these... Uh, for two of them, we need uh, blaze crystals, and these get made by throwing blaze rods into here, which isn't a big deal, except you can see it takes, it doesn't take like insanely long, but it takes long enough that it's a little bit annoying. So I think the next thing I want to do is actually upgrade these rods to blazing level, which will make this go four times faster for making these blazing crystals, and is really going to be handy uh, once we get into the higher levels, which require excessively large amounts of power. And the way that we do that is with these blazing capacitors. So I needed to make these anyway in order to uh, make the... Let's just do that. There we go. In order to make the blazing uh, reactor blocks. So I figured I would just make a few extra... And now, when we toss this down, you can see it is significantly faster. It's not quite instant, but it's much quicker. And there we go, 72 blazing crystals later. We should now be able to make enough of these that we can create the blazing reactor blocks. So there we go, we got 36 of those guys now. Next step is the Niotic blocks, and these, to make the capacitors for, you need niotic crystals, which are made with diamonds and 300,000 Fe. So actually not that bad, and we can upgrade uh, the energizing rods as well to get us up to that, uh, basically do the same thing. So I'll get that done, and then after that, it's the same process, except for spirited crystals, which use emeralds and 1 million Fe. So, I'll just keep upgrading, and soon we will have everything we need. Well, the good news is that I've gotten up to Niotic Reactors, and this would produce 100,000 RF per tick. The bad news... or I'm sorry, it would generate 25,000, and you can extract 100,000. Uh, the bad news is, I only have 48 emeralds. I didn't even consider this, but our quarry has not actually mined any emeralds because we haven't had it mining in a biome that includes them. So, yeah, I need way more emeralds. I think I need uh, 72 times 2 plus uh, 24. So whatever that, whatever that comes out to. Um, approximately two and a half stacks of emeralds, I think, give or take. Uh, yeah. So the easiest way to get emeralds would probably be just to trade with villagers. Like, I can look at this dude and be like, hey, I've got a lot of coal. Would you like to give me emeralds? And we can just keep doing this, like, forever? And I can, that's probably going to be my best bet. There are villages all over the place. Um, but yeah, this, this is the plan. What do you want? And yeah, none of this. But anyway, so yeah, I'm going to fly around the world, go to villages and do some trading. Thankfully, I, we do have plenty of resources, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Well, I've been out and about doing a fair amount of villager trading, and I think we are good. I am up to four, a little over four stacks of emeralds. That should be enough. So now it's back to crafting. All right, I think I have enough spirited crystals now to make the spirited reactor blocks. Looks good. Okay, there we go. 36 spirited reactor blocks. So this will produce 100,000 RF per tick 
and you can extract 400,000 at once from it, and it can store up to 100 million. So that is, uh, I mean, production-wise, honestly, that's roughly double what we're producing right now. You know, 100,000 RF per tick, is, I guess it's more like three times what we're producing right now. So that's a lot. But, you know, I've kind of been thinking about it, and... I've got 16 Wither Skulls because I didn't, I had almost forgotten that you get some for killing these. I've killed, I mean, I don't really need to kill that many more Wither Skeletons. You, looking at the rewards, I've already killed 50. I've killed over 50. If I kill 100, I get nine Wither Skeleton Skulls just for that. And if we look at statistics... What am I actually at here? Wither Skeleton. Wait, have I already done this? And I just didn't claim it? No. Oh, maybe it's I need to kill another hundred. Maybe that's how it works or something. Either way, I can, I can do this. I, all I need is enough to kill the Wither nine times. So that is 27 Wither Skeleton Skulls, and I'm already at 16. This is totally doable. I'm just gonna go all the way. But before I go into the Nether, I think what we should probably do is put another level or two of severing on our cleaver. Our cleaver uh, is currently at severing two. It can go up to severing five. And the recipe is totally doable. You need a couple lightning rods, a little bit of TNT, and some nether bones. But more importantly, I need modifiers for this guy. And I'm not sure what I've already put on here. So first off, uh, let's head out to our Tinker's Construct setup. And let's just see what modifiers I can add, or how many slots I can add. So there we go. That will add one if I put a dragon head on there. Uh, I'm fairly sure that if I put a different head, it's not going to add. Yeah, because we've already done that. Okay. Uh, have I done writable on this one yet? Let's see. Book and quill. Oh, right. I gotta be in here. Have I done this? I don't have a feather? What? <laughs> really? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't have a feather. Okay, well, let me check. There's a whole bunch of different ways to add additional modifiers. Uh, you can add a dragon head. You can, oh, you can add a dragon head. You can add a record, you can add a mob uh, skull, an end crystal, and a book and quill. All of those will give you plus one ability slot. Now, I know I've already done some of them, and I'm not sure which ones I've actually done and which ones I haven't, but I will try putting all of them on, and hopefully we'll be able to get up to at least severing four or maybe five, if we're lucky. Okay, so once it was all said and done, I have one free ability slot and two upgrade slots. Now, the uh, severing is an upgrade, and there's a pretty fantastic uh, one in here called Gilded. So if I make a golden apple, I can trade one of my ability slots for two upgrade slots. So this will allow us to get up to severing uh, five, which is the limit. So that's fantastic. Uh, let's just grab some of these necrotic bones, uh, grab some TNT, and then I'm also going to make a, oh, make a couple lightning rods. I need three of those. And if we just toss these in here, that will give us severing three, severing four, severing five. So this thing will now 
uh, give us a very high chance of getting Wither Skeleton Skulls whenever we kill a Wither Skeleton with it. So, perfect. Okay, this might do it. There we go, nine Wither Skeleton Skulls. It looks like with the uh, Severing upgrade, with that maxed out at level five, that it becomes roughly like a 50% chance to drop a skull, which is just insanely good. So yeah, we definitely have enough skulls now to fight the Wither nine times. Now fighting the Wither nine times could get a little bit messy, but there's a solution. Yes, I know I could go into the end and I could use the bedrock in the end and do the vanilla style, but why use vanilla stuff? when modded stuff will work just fine. So I'm gonna make a couple stacks of this tinted glass from Mob Grinding Utilities, and you can see it says tough enough to withstand withers. So in theory, <laughs> in theory, this should work and not they should not be able to break this and escape and destroy my world. Um, in theory. Let's just try it over here, where if things do happen to go horribly wrong, uh, I can bail. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to make a little thing here. It doesn't need to be super big. We'll make like, um, eh, let's see, I want to make sure that I can get in. So let's go up to here. And we'll just put these down, and then on this side, there we go. And then this should allow us to smack the Wither's feet, but also place down all the necessary blocks. Now, I don't know if this is silk touchable. Yes. Yes, it totally is. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to actually see the blocks. But yeah, this should work, I think. Right? This this should be a witherproof cage. So now what we got to do is grab our soul sand here and some of our skulls and test this thing out. We should be good. I mean, realistically, let's just do that, and then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, so he can't escape. And finally, one, two, you're, you're not, you're supposed to go, oh, there we go. I guess it worked anyway. Okay, so in theory, this wither should not be able to escape our little thingamadoodle here, and we should be perfectly fine. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 he escaped. Thankfully, we can two-shot the Wither with our absurdly powerful Unobtainium Sword. Uh, but yeah, that didn't work at all. <laughs> that did absolutely nothing. Probably made the uh, chamber too small, uh, so he was able to just kind of, like, glitch through the ceiling. But that's one Nether Star down. Eight more to go. And time for the last one. I just decided to make a little box over here. I also found out that I was one wither skull short. I guess I just miscounted or something. Or maybe I had one that uh, didn't actually drop a star for some reason. I don't know why that would be, but this is what I've been doing. Just plopping down the stuff. There we go. He's in our little box. Perfectly safe out here. He can't escape. And he's dead. So there we go. That's my that's my wither skeleton or my wither killing uh, setup. And it works just fine. So there we go. We now have our nine nether stars that we'll need. And we can use these to make the incredibly powerful uh really high-end power stuff. So we will need nitro. We're, go, we're going for the nitro reactor. To make this, we need nitro crystals. And to make these, it is two blocks of redstone, 
another star, and a block of blazing crystal. And this is made using either blaze mesh? Oh, that's probably going to be way faster. Yeah. Uh, you, you can either make it by doing a bunch of these blazing crystals and then turning it into a, the block that way, and then you'd have to individually do. But yeah, this is going to be way faster to just make it like this. So let's see. To do this, we're going to need uh, nine, right? Because we got to do this recipe nine times, and it, it calls for one each. Yeah, and then we just need some blocks of redstone. That part's super, super easy. So we'll need 18 blocks of redstone, and then we need our nether stars. So let's toss you away. I can put this over here. Just give us a little bit of space. And we go a one, two, three, four. And then... And then? Why why you no do the thing? Oh, the... Duh. <laughs> I need to turn these into the right thing first. Duh. <laughs> See, this happens so often in modded. You get, you get one little thing that messes you up, and you're like, what is going on? But yeah, you just, you, yeah, that that would that would be the problem. Is I um I didn't turn these into the right block first. Okay, now this should work. So we go one, two, three, four. And these will start doing their thing. It does take 20 million RF to do this. So pretty big power draw. But there we go. And that gives us 16 nitro crystals, which is enough to make four of these nitro capacitors. Uh, and we are going to need four nitro capacitors for each of these recipes. We got to do this recipe nine times, so we need uh, we need to do this nine times, and then we'll have our reactor nitro blocks. And there we go, thirty-six nitro reactor blocks. Now the thing is. We're also going to actually need a little bit more because the thing, it, like, we're on this blazing ender cell network. The problem is this thing can only actually do up to 40,000 RF per tick on this channel, on this network. So that's not going to work for us. We're going to need, uh, unfortunately, one more... <laughs> wither, I think, so we can make two more nitro capacitors and one more nitro crystal, uh, which is very unfortunate, but that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, but that way we can have uh, a network that will support significantly more power at once. Okay, there we go. Now, what I need to know is if this nitro battery will actually work and just change this to a level one slot? No. Oh, there we go. Wait. Okay, I th I think that worked. Where the f the first network will now support a huge amount. I don't know. Maybe that wasn't super. Ne maybe I just needed to put any battery in. I don't know. I'm not really super super familiar with power. But now, if I grab a different. Uh, we're going to need to make one of doo -doo -doo -doo, these guys, right? Yeah, a nitro energy cell. We're going to have to make one of these. So let's just go here. Um, Got to make one of these power cords. That's easy. Oh, so we need an eye of energy. Ender. We need one of these dielectric casings, which I might actually just be out of. So I'll just grab one of those, and then what was the other thing we needed? Oh, it, it, ah, there we go. A capacitor. A tiny capacitor. Okay, there we go. 
So that's easy. Boom. 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 Okay, that gives us what we need, and now we should be able to make one of those. Okay, so nitro. Now, if I take this guy, we break this, and put this one here instead. Yeah, now it's up to two million. Okay, cool. So basically, this thing, uh, we don't need it on our, our big reactor. We need a blazing one. But what we can do is put this uh, nitro ender cell onto our reactor and then use, uh, so it'll, it'll have essentially, you know, the maximum going into the network. And then we can use the blazing ones to pull off because we're not going to need to pull the full amount off for each individual blazing cell. Like if I just need to power five machines, I don't need the maximum amount for that. So now all I got to do is actually set up the reactor. And I think a good place to put it would actually just be right here. It's not super big. So if we put this thing down, it'll actually just start building itself, which is pretty sweet. And boom, there we go. We now have this amazing reactor. Now, I don't actually know what the inputs and outputs look like, but presumably that's the output. I think this thing is not powered at all right now because it doesn't have any uraninite. So uh, let's do this, actually. Let's grab an ender chest. Uh, do I have... I might need to make a couple, which is fine. Um, let's just go ender chest, which means we need to make a couple of these. Ooh, I'm like out of leather. That's fine. We'll kill some cows in a minute. One, two. Okay, there we go. And then let's dye these... Uh, what color? Maybe we'll go black. Since the reactor is black. So we'll just go boop and a boop. Okay. Now, if I take you and I put this guy here, and then we just grab a logistical transporter. It shouldn't need to be a ridiculous one, but let's just see. Yeah, okay, so that does go in, it looks like, which is exactly what I was hoping. And then we just make sure this is set to items, and we do that. Okay. And then last but not least, we pop up to here, grab an exporter, Uh, and just along our wall of chests, <laughs> we're just going to go like so and like so. And that will start outputting uraninite to here, where it should then get sucked into the reactor. Now, I don't think the power, the power reactors actually have a, uh, a waste product. At least as far as I know, they don't. I also don't know if they can explode, but, I mean, only one way to find out, and it would be really interesting. <laughs> so this thing should now be producing a massive quantity of power uh, and outputting it to our network, which will slowly fill up all the way here on channel one, and then we can take power off of that, uh, siphon it, using blazing ender cells whenever we actually need. So that seems great. Now we can probably turn our quarry back on, not have to worry about power. Uh, I'm not going to say we're never going to have to worry about power ever again, but I mean, 500,000 RF per tick is a lot of power. So we should be good at least for quite a while. So it turns out it does need coolant uh, and we could just use water. So I could just put a sink here and have infinite water go into this thing. There's also an auto mode, so it will automatically start and stop if it's not, you know, being used. So that should be good. Uh, there is a using the, you know, once again, 
read the manual and it will tell you everything you need to know. So this should be good. Uh, and we're good. Yeah. I mean, we could also do redstone um, to make this thing run a little bit more efficiently as well. But I think that's probably fine. Like we're we we are producing so much power right now that it's just who cares? Like <laughs> we're generating two hundred and twenty five thousand RF per tick. If we add the redstone, it'll get up to the higher amount. But like we're we're already way over what we actually need. So yeah, that is uh, our new power. Uh, all set up and all of our power problems solved for the foreseeable future. But unfortunately, my friends, I'm out of time for this episode, so I'm going to call this one here. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.